back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my 37 week bump date, which I know guys, I literally just did an update. I haven't been posting as frequently and that is because a number one symptom that I've been having is just exhaustion and just being unmotivated. I am so stressed out about trying to get everything prepared. I really hope whenever the baby gets here, it'll be back to normal, but I don't know, I'm gonna have a newborn. <laughs> but I'm just gonna get right into the video because a lot kinda went on this week, so let's just get into it. So the first thing is I have gained a total of 100, or I have not gained 145 pounds, wait, let me rewind that. I have gained 45 pounds, making me 145 pounds. The next thing I wanted to talk about is because I am 37 weeks, my midwife has given me the A-OK -okay to start softening my cervix and all of that fun stuff, so I have been taking evening primrose oil up the hoo-ha, Yup guys, we, we, we as women could take pills up the vagina if you didn't know that. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I take two tablets and you try to get it as close to your cervix as possible. Uh, that's really painful, so I, I am not good at that, but I try. The pill basically dissolves and then the oil will soften your cervix, so we're... <laughs> Yeah. The next thing I've been doing to kind of prepare myself for labor is taking red raspberry leaf tea or drinking red raspberry leaf tea. And I drink probably about a cup a day if I remember. Honestly, I'm not good at that. Uh, Megan is constantly up my butt texting me and calling me making sure I'm taking it. I'm like, look, you just need to come over and make me a batch. Like that's just, and she did, so. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about, which is so exciting, I had my midwife appointment, and as of last Tuesday, so I see her again in like three days, but last Tuesday I was two centimeters dilated. I was very close to two centimeters. She basically said it's not quite a two, but it's not like a one and a half or like almost to a two, so I'm assuming I'm probably a two right now, or at least I'm, I'm hoping, which is really good news because with Grayson, I was like not dilated at all, like I think I was like half a centimeter whenever I went in at 41 weeks. So to me, that's a good thing. I know it doesn't necessarily mean that labor's coming anytime soon. I know it doesn't mean that labor's coming anytime soon. But I'm gonna take it like that. I'm, I'm gonna act like it means labor's coming soon because my hopes are just super high. The next thing I've been doing this week is bouncing on my yoga ball. So you basically do that so that way the baby descends and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I've been bouncing on the yoga ball and that's like something really easy that I could do. It actually helps my pelvis. A lot of you guys are probably wondering about that with my SPD and everything like that. Bouncing on a yoga ball is something that actually helps with that so it makes it feel better and I'm also like getting him down there. It works out. The next exciting thing is we finally picked a name. I'm actually not too sure if I've talked about this on YouTube because pregnancy brain and pregnancy brain. But yeah, we have finally picked out a name. It has been a long journey and I will probably do another video like explaining like what his name means and like just how we found it. But yeah, I basically got all the supplies for the name reveal. So we're just waiting for the supplies and then the name reveal will be right out. I know you guys have been waiting forever. Trust me, we've been waiting forever to find a name as well. I'm so glad that we finally did it. And it's it's like been this way for about a solid week. So I'm almost 100% sure this is his name. <laughs> so as far as cravings go, I have been craving sushi like crazy. You can see Grayson running around in the background. And I have, <laughs> he's looking for the dog. <laughs> did the dog go outside? Yeah, the dog Yeah, it's okay. He had to go potty. He's very worried about this. Yeah, he went poop. I know. If you did not know, Knox is Grayson's best friend and he does not like him leaving the house. You want me to sit? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna do this update with me? So anyway, my cravings have been sushi and surprisingly KFC and they've actually changed their chicken. What? Yeah? Do you wanna say hi? Hi. So, yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna come over here? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and yeah, which is actually strange for me because I do not like KFC or just like chicken in general. I'm not a huge chicken person. That's a thing. And on to the most embarrassing part about this entire pregnancy update is I for sure thought that I was in labor. And the reason why I say it's embarrassing is because I am a second time mom, but I thought I would at least know what labor was. And apparently I didn't. But you do have to keep in mind that I did get induced at the hospital. I don't know what it feels like for your body to naturally go into labor. So I'm, I'm gonna use that as an excuse, okay guys? On to the story. So it all started watching Endgame. I'm obviously not gonna give any spoilers. If you don't know what that is, it's basically an Avengers movie and it is three hours long. So it is a pretty lengthy movie. I started having painful, hard contractions. They weren't regular, but they were like, around three to two minutes and I wasn't freaking out. I did want to finish Endgame and your girl did finish. I was not about to leave the movie theater and it would have been a pretty good story if I had him in the movie. No, I'm just kidding. Labor does take a really long time so I wasn't like freaking out. I kind of assumed that I was like in early labor at this point because the contractions were not like super regular but they were coming very often. I had about 14 every single hour which is a lot. They just were not super regular and so I was texting Megan freaking out like oh my god I think I might be in labor just be prepared because as you guys know she's coming to my birth I didn't want to tell anybody else because I didn't want to like freak anybody else out or like be the girl that cried wolf which I'm glad that I didn't tell anybody but she also had my kid so she kind of needed to be in the know as well because she was watching him while we were watching the movie and I'm so mad because I, I had to time them so I I wasn't as focused for in game guys and it happened like right at the climax at the movie as well where I actually started timing so I was I was frustrated to say the least I had to keep on asking Patrick questions for things that I missed so I'm, I'm definitely re-watching Endgame when we got out of the movie theaters and I was walking I still was contracting I drank a lot of water just to make sure I was hydrated because basically they always recommend to change your position that you're in and drink water and see if that kind of stops the contractions and it wasn't and then we got back into the car which was another change of position drink more water still contract Contracting. Went all the way over to Megan's house, still contracting, and then she actually came over to my house, and then they became even more like irregular, like spaced out. So I was like, I don't know if my body's just trying to go into labor or what it's trying to do. So Megan stayed for a few hours and they were just too spaced out. And so she ended up leaving because we kind of determined like, hey, if I am like even in early, early labor, my body's trying to go into labor, it's still gonna be like a pretty long time before it's actually going to be like, labor labor so might as well go home so she went home and then we dropped off our friend and in the car ride to drop off our friend my contractions were pretty regular they were five minutes apart and that was for about an hour and that is when you're supposed to like call your midwife or your doctor instead of calling my midwife i uh was freaking out because i didn't have any cute pajamas to give birth in um <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's like, I don't know what was going through my head. Like even Patrick was like, you're actually crazy. And I was like, I think I am because nothing fits me anymore, guys. Like literally none of my pajamas fit. And your girl just wants to feel good while she's having a baby exit her vagina. And I know I'm doing a water birth because a lot of you guys are probably confused, but I'm just gonna be wherever I'm gonna be comfortable. So I want dry clothes and like a swimsuit, you know what I mean? So I already got the swimsuit. I didn't have cute pajamas for the time that I'm gonna be dry during my labor. And I, yeah, so we stopped at Target while well, I thought I was in labor. <laughs> and I went in and grabbed some pajamas and that is when my contractions stopped. They stopped for the rest of the night, so I didn't end up calling my midwife. So yeah, I wasn't in labor and it's the next day. Still no baby, no contractions today, so we're in the clear. But yeah, that's, that's the story. And it's also really funny because everybody thought I was in labor. Like, I got so many DMs before I said anything. Everybody was DMing Megan because Grayson was over at Megan's house and a lot of people saw it on her Instagram story. So they just assumed that I was in labor. And so they were asking her and we were joking about it. And then I started contracting after that, after she like announced on her Instagram that I wasn't in labor. And I was like, now everybody's just gonna think you're a liar because we thought I was in labor, but she's not a liar. 
I wasn't in labor. That's the story. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you guys my bump and that should be it. Alrighty, so here he is. This is what the bump is looking like. Very big. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.